Hello and welcome. Uh, this is video number four in an eight-part series about World War I. In today's video, uh, the focus is going to be on something called the Schlieffen Plan. Um, there was a plan that Germany had early in World War I uh, that they hoped would help them in a two-front war situation. Uh, so hopefully uh, you'll find this video helpful and informative. Let's get started. Now, when this war got started, uh, I think most people thought it was going to be over very quickly. Uh, you hear references to home by Christmas, uh, even though this thing didn't get started until the very end of July, the start of August. Uh, most people didn't imagine that this would last more than a couple of months. And if you look back at some of the recent conflicts, uh, think back to German unification and, and some of the conflict that they, uh, that they were in as their country unified, uh, those were generally pretty short. Um, that would not turn out to be the case. And a big part of that is based on something called the Schlieffen Plan. Uh, the Schlieffen Plan uh, represented a plan that Germany had uh, to prepare for a, a wartime situation where they might find themselves with enemies on both sides. Uh, Germany is a country in Central Europe. Uh, they had people who they saw as enemies on both sides of themselves. And one thing that would be very difficult would be getting into a fight with both of them at the same time. Uh, really no different than if you as an individual got into a scuffle with two other people at the same time. It's going to be inherently harder uh, to fight off two people than it would be to fight off just one. Uh, at any rate, uh, the Schlieffen Plan was a, a plan that Germany had to avoid this two-front situation, and uh, they felt like that would give them a real advantage if they did find themselves in a fight. And the way things lined up with World War I at this point and who their enemies were, uh, they had enemies on both sides. Uh, so next I want to speak just a little bit what their plan was and then talk about what led it not to work. Um, if you look on the screen right now, you see uh, that it's got a little information on their plan for a two-front war. Uh, for this to work, uh, several things were going to have to happen the way they thought they would happen. And what they believed was, if they were, for example, in this case, fighting against both France and Russia, uh, that France would be ready to fight a lot sooner than Russia would be able to. So they could effectively ignore Russia in the beginning, focus all their resources on going into France, uh, they figured in just a matter of six weeks or so, they could make it to Paris. And if they could take that city, that would lead to a French surrender. Uh, in the meantime, Russia would just be getting ready to fight, uh, but still not yet ready to fight. And they would be able to defeat France quickly enough that uh, before Russia was even able to fight, they would could then pivot to the east and focus then all their attention on Russia. They expected to defeat Russia very quickly. Uh, war would be over. Uh, no two front battles for Germany. Everything would work out great. Now, the trouble with plans are, um, if you draw one up for it to work the way you expect, everything has to work the way you expect. And reality often works very differently. And that would turn out to be the case uh, for Germany uh, with their sleep and plan. Now, you could probably go into more reasons than the three I've listed up here for failure, uh, but just to touch on why the plan didn't work very well. Uh, for starters, in the beginning, they thought uh, they, Germany, thought they'd be able to just march very quickly and easily to Paris. Uh, but the reality was uh, they moved through territory that was more well fortified than they were anticipating, uh, which made, made it slower going than they expected. And they also expected there to be very little, if any, resistance as they moved towards Paris. I think they really thought people would just get out of the way and it would be like just hopping on the interstate and driving to Kansas City, you know, just a quick shot, no big deal. And so one thing that really went wrong uh, was it took a lot longer to move towards Paris than they ever anticipated. Uh, the other thing that didn't work out the way they anticipated is Russia started fighting uh, before they were really ready to fight. And Russia would suffer for this because Russia wasn't really ready to fight when they started fighting. Uh, if you want to use somewhat of a, a football analogy to speak to Russia's readiness, it'd be kind of like two football teams taking the field. Uh, one team would have you know helmets, pads, cleats, all that stuff like you would expect. And the other team would walk out there with just a couple of people having cleats on, some people with pads, some people with helmets, most people with next to, to no gear, and then play the football game. Uh, you can play the game, but one side's going to get beat up pretty badly. And that's kind of where Russia was at. They started fighting. They just weren't really ready for it. But when you put it all together, it threw off Germany's Schlieffen plan, and they found themselves in a two-front fight, uh, the thing that they were desperately hoping to avoid. And so it's from this uh, that we see uh, World War I really take shape the way it did. And one of the big things that comes from this is something called the Western Front, or the fighting that took place in northern France. Uh, if you look at the picture on the slide, you can see France as the purple uh, shaded area, 
And if you look at that meandering kind of yellow and green line, uh, that represents a line of fighting uh, that would be in place throughout the roughly four years or so uh, that World War I took place. Now, I'm not going to really get into battles in our look at uh, World War I at this time, uh, but one I do want to speak to is the first battle of the Marne River. Uh, that's where the Schlieffen Plan was effectively stopped. Uh, this was a location uh, that was not too far outside of Paris itself. Um, and as, as Germany was pushing their way towards Paris, uh, France, uh, with reinforcements from Great Britain and just everybody on that side that was looking to stop Germany, uh, was able to actually get them stopped. And after Germany retreated a little bit, uh, they dug in to try to hold their position. And so that's where we'll leave it uh, there and uh, talking about the early phase uh, with World War I. Now in the next video, uh, the focus is gonna be on the different theaters of war. Uh, a big part of the emphasis is gonna be on a style of fighting uh, trench warfare uh, that developed on the Western Front uh, where uh, the Schlieffen plan uh, ultimately failed there. Uh, on that kind of border area around where Germany and France uh, was located in, in uh, the northern part of Europe. Uh, so hopefully you'll join me for that video, and hopefully you found this uh, video helpful and informative. Thanks for watching.